Welcome back to American Latino TV. I'm your host, Valerie Ortiz. Up next, we take you inside the world of children's cartoons, something I don't think I will ever grow out of. Global phenomenon Dora the Explorer is back and setting off on her next big adventure called Dora and Friends Into the City, an animated series starring the Latina heroine in new adventures with new friends and a new interactive format. The spin-off show expands on Dora's legacy of being a compassionate kid leader and role model who teaches kids to navigate new social situations like starting school and making friends and, of course, learning Spanish along the way. So to tell us more on the new Dora series is Dora herself, Fatima Patachek, right here on American Latino TV. Enjoy. Bienvenidos, amigos. My name is Fatima Patachek, and I am the voice of Dora. Hola, soy Dora. <laughs> hola, 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 bienvenidos. We're so very, very happy to see you. Dora's personality is awesome. She's basically who you want your kid to be best friends with. <laughs> She's very, very loyal. She's loving, and she cares about everyone. She's very determined, and um, she, she loves being in charge and being the leader, kind of. And, helping everyone out. It's Doggy Adoption Day. We're putting up posters to let everyone know they can adopt a dog for their family. Dora and Friends Into the City is the same Dora the Explorer character. She's a little bit older now, and she has she's living in the city now, hence the name. And she also has some new friends. They all accompany her on her adventures, and they focus on community service, emotional skills, um, of course, you know, working on a friendship, like real social contact. Helping out in the city. Doing what we can. I've been the voice of Dora for four years now, since 2010. Come on, vamonos. Everybody, let's go. She's always going to be kind of the favorite of all the kids. Everyone loves watching her, and she's I'm the most watched preschool show in the world. And actually, with a new show, I think that popularity is actually going to pick up. I'm really excited about that. And, the contrast between the two shows. I'm, I'm really, really excited. Muy bien, caballito. We can do it! I started acting when I was five years old. Originally, it was mostly print and doing some commercials, and eventually I kind of bra branched out into doing guest starring roles on TV shows, and then started to audition for movies, and then eventually I got some roles here and there. <music> Curfew. Sean Christensen, he was the writer, director, producer and he started in it as well. He made it just as a little passion project. He just really wanted to kind of make a little short film and he asked me to be a part of it and I really, really love the script. Here's a list of appropriate places you're allowed to take me. If you take me somewhere that's not on that list, there'll be hell to pay. Here's some money for you to spend on me and on me only. If you spend it on anything else, like drugs, there'll be hell to pay. Well, I'm glad we got that out of the way. Now, my name is Richard. And I am your uncle. I don't care. We started picking up a lot of buzz and people were getting really excited about it. And then eventually some big name people uh, were paying attention to us and they were asking us about the film and we were getting some great interviews and press. And then all of a sudden we were nominated and then we were at the Oscars and then we won. Smoking is one of the leading causes of gingivitis. Really? giving me a headache right now. You don't it's take very good care of yourself. giving me a huge migraine headache. You should get a girlfriend to take care of you. I can't. You clearly can't take care of yourself. And after that, we made a feature film version of Curfew called Before I Disappear. Um, and we're doing the festival circuit right now. We actually, we won at South by Southwest. And then, of course, with Dora, I mean, everyone kind of knows about that. I think that definitely helps my career because she's such a, a positive role model. I think also, Picking up from where I left off, I watched her growing up all my life and then being able to kind of reverse the roles and be that role model for the little kids who I know that I was at one point. It's really kind of an honor and kind of weird to get your head wrapped around, but I, I, I absolutely love it. Hola, hola, hola. 